What's up everyone? You are watching AHD Toys. I just want to tell you, it's morphin time. What's going on everyone? Anthony here with AHD Toys and welcome back to another video. I am sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. If you guys have been following my post on IG, uh, basically I got switched over to a night shift or graveyard shift uh, for a couple weeks. And it's been kind of killer on my work schedule, on my life schedule, really having to work from that time that I'm normally sleeping. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm I'm back on my regular shift, but my body's still slowly trying to adjust to the, I guess, I don't want to call it jet lag, but it's definitely an adjustment uh, having to work when I normally sleep and sleep when I normally work and then going back to it afterwards. Anyways, that is just rambling. Here in today's video, we are going to be going over the best protective case for your Lightning Collection figures. I posted this a while back on my Instagram, on my story, that I got some cases for my signed JDF merch. Uh, I didn't think I was ever going to be like one of those guys that bought a collector or like a protective box for their collection. I just never really saw the point of buying a box to put it into a box. Uh, but obviously, you know, with recent tragic events, I didn't want anything to happen to these boxes. They have fell a few times. Uh, but nothing happened. Luckily, they were on a lower shelf at the time when they fell. So, But with that being said, I did decide to get some protective cases. And as you can tell or not tell, which is why I like these boxes, is that these are very form-fitting. They're not super tight on them. Uh, I do wish they were just a tad bit snugger. Uh, but overall, a very good option on uh, a protective case to where like you could barely tell they're there during certain angles uh, you can definitely tell there's like a, a little bit of a gap up there uh, but i have bought some off amazon before where like the gap was like all the way up here and it was just like a bunch of dead space at the top and i had no idea why they would even need that. and those were geared towards directly towards lightning collection figures because like the sides they fit fine it was just a huge gap up top. Uh, and I tried putting other uh, figure boxes in there and it didn't work. So those were specifically meant for this box. They just didn't fit right. But anyways, I found these on eBay, which, by the way, are a lot cheaper than the ones I bought on Amazon originally. Uh, they come in singles or, I think, a 5-pack and a 10-pack and more. Uh, they come in a bubble mailer uh, just like this. They come with a little pr protective film. Go ahead, peel that off. Put that to the side, and then all you got to do is kind of like open it up, like so. Kind of like crease the edges of where the corner would be, right? Crease this edge. There you go. Fold in the bottoms, crease that up. Crease the bottom edge up like so just kind of pinch it together this little flap right here do the same now I don't recommend closing it just yet because what I like to do is what I found the best way is take your box the figure itself slide it in right and then close it that way when before you close it sometimes I've noticed that the figure will catch at the bottom and push out the tab it, again or even worse which I'm, it hasn't happened to me obviously but I could imagine it just getting caught at the bottom of the box increasing the like the actual box itself so that is see like right there I'm trying to push it in and it's pushing it out so just kind of like have it in all the way and then close it in oh, it might help if I had that tab out of the way now wouldn't it close that in like so and just like that, you have your figure all nice and protected, and it's very form-fitting. You can barely tell there's a case on there to begin with. Uh, so it's a really nice option. Obviously, uh, I did eventually have plans for this one to be signed by JDF, but I just couldn't swing it at the time when he did finally come back. I was like, well, you know, the next time. Uh, he, If you guys are well aware, he aren't, his autographs aren't exactly cheap. They can range anywhere from... Well, free, depending on the place, all the way up to like $80. I think to get this one signed, it was 60 To get this one signed, it was 80 Uh The time when he did come back again that I did decide to skip on, I think that was around 60 for this. But I just didn't have the the spare change at the time to, well, you know. Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, 
So this is a really quick video. I just wanted to give you guys an option for you inbox collectors. Uh, I know it's kind of weird to show a, a boxing collection on an unboxing channel. It's kind of weird, but you know, there are tons of different types of collectors out there. Inbox, out of box, both, whatever have you. And yeah, so these are really good options. I enjoy them. They're very cheap. I think they come in around like $5 a piece plus $2 shipping. Uh, the more you buy, obviously he can combine the shipping and it brings the case down cheaper. I think if you buy like five instead of like $5, it becomes like $4 and $10 becomes like three something. I don't know. I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. I got off eBay. Shipping was really fast. Um, I guess one thing to be aware of, my my mailbox is like a long rectangle, so the envelope fit in there just um, just fine. So I don't know if like they'll deliver it to your door when they get to you or they'll try to bend it. So that is one thing to be aware of. My envelope didn't have a do not bend sticker on it, so that did kind of worry me a little bit. Uh, but I don't know. Definitely message him beforehand and tell him, hey, I got a very small mailbox. Will they bring this to my doorstep or will they try to fold it like a magazine? But anyways, guys, quick video, uh, just something to get out there to like uh, please the YouTube algorithm, you know, all hail the mighty YouTube algorithm. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. I do have two more videos planned. One will be after Christmas and one will be on the very, well, maybe not the very first of January, but somewhere within the first few days of January. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you saw, I make tons of videos like this. Uh, so please consider giving the channel subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing, but really helps this channel grow. So until next time, guys, later.